Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more E4, Ragusa, with a little bit of help. A little bit of help, a little help, a little help. Right now we're focused on Diplo points. We're almost caught up on Diplotech. I think we might want to pivot to Mill Focus now. Let's do that. So we're going to do Military ID Group next. We did a poll between episodes and uh, yeah, we're definitely going for the Hungary play. It makes more sense. It's just better. So we gotta wait a few months for the army to march home, but um, that's gonna be what we do. That trade efficiency back. Hungary will no longer transfer trade power to Austria, apparently. Cool, neat, fine. Let's get the second artillery built. Going up to six. I think we can afford six artillery. I wanna get to ten. Ten's about where I stop, usually. Just Then you get a full, super fast siege stack, and then you continue to go economic mode. Supply is not very good there. We're going to suffer attrition if we go through. And we're not at max manpower, so... I'm going to reroute the army. To avoid the Ottoman stacks. We should... make sure we stay topped off with the Ottomans. Did we release Georgia? Yep. Georgia's over here. Georgia's our subject. They're quite biggish. They are fabricating more claims for us. We have a truce with Gazmuchek, but they have a claim on... I just stand now. Term is already up for this dude. I do like his shock leader, uh, land leader shock bonus. He's 59 though. We have a good nephew? No. Um. Hmm. I think we need to reroll. Go for someone who's a little bit younger. We're ahead of time on Miltech. Why don't we roll a general, and then we'll give up that siege pip, or that uh, that shock pip guaranteed. So, one general. Who shall lead? Actually, let's do two, because someone's going to die soon. We'll do two. Steve Bruley. Brule. MD. Medical. MD. Medical doctor? Is that what that stands for? You're not very good. One, three, three. 133 is 7 pips on a scale of 4 to 11 plus 1 guaranteed. Not very good. Last one. Dat Evil Guy. That's probably going to be a good name, right? No. <laughs> we could focus on a military candidate just because we know we're doing a military idea group. I kind of want to keep the guilds in charge though. Eh, let's just do military. I want to power through the idea group next. I shall lead. You shall not lead. Missionary strength plus one. Okay, that's actually pretty useful to us. We might be willing to convert Azov now. 33 times 5? It's what? I'm going to do the math. 165 ducats, I think. That's not that much money. It's kind of pricey, but it's doable. Whoa, Mario Paza is uh, shockingly, uh, get it? Shockingly good at combat. Um, I like that. Grab that alert. What idea group do we pick? We haven't done a poll yet, but it's still probably one of the other ones that we talked about uh, previously. Plutocratic or offensive? Plutocratic's unique to republics, so it's rare. We could consider it. It would give us a. Let's see. Does it give us a policy triumvirate? No. I don't think that these idea groups give any tripled policies, but that doesn't matter that much. Are the ideas good? Yeah. They're middle to above average. They're not the best, but they are not bad. I mean, everything in here is pretty decent. You know, available mercs kind of weak, just lets you do bigger condottieri stacks. Merc Discipline doesn't apply to me very often. Morale of Armies plus 10? Solid. A National Unrest minus 2 is actually really, really strong. Merchants plus 1 plays into the Merchant Republic play. Goods produced is just good. Merchant uh, Caravan Trade Power improves your control of trade nodes, which means that you get increased goods produced from being a Merchant Republic, which is good. Manpower Recovery Speed plus 20. I mean, that's the same as Quantity's Manpower Recovery Speed plus 20, so it's not bad. It's good. Institution Spread's pretty weak, but... Overall, it's it's decent. This, on the other hand, is three guaranteed pips. 
and 20% siege ability with the policy giving another 10, so 30. So it's still probably not as good as offensive, but it's not bad. You know, it's more kind of middle of the road mixed mixed bag stuff. Okay, so we have six artillery right now, and one more being built, puts us to seven. Let's send uh, four this way and three that way. And I'm gonna go, actually I think I'm going up to eight now. I said six, but I think we'll do eight. Income looks pretty good right now. Yeah, the one of the advantages to Plutocratic is the fact that there are some pretty good policies. Okay, so our, we're in position. This might seem like a bad idea, if you're new here, because Castile's got two personal union members, Castile's big and strong and scary, but um, I think you'll see that while he's distracted in the war with Morocco and while we blitz down Hungary, it's gonna be a pretty easy war. We're gonna declare a conquest for Let's do... Turda. What happened and why did my artillery end up in the wrong spot? That's weird. I just, I just messed it up. Great. Well, in this case, let's just send an 805 stack to Pest and have this thing over that way and then we'll have... Okay, Naples Navy is doing a thing, that's fine. Naples has six galleys here. We have 17 light ships. Hmm. Probably take some losses if we let that battle happen. Hungary does have an army, it's heading this way. He's got his mountain fort at full garrison. Uh, we just need to stack wipe him so that his army isn't a threat, and then we can proceed to carpet siege his whole country. I'm gonna go to the 11th, and then we can retreat. We lost one light ship. Yeah, sail we only have two ports. Well, that's not true, we have, we have these now. But sailors have been an issue for a very long time. So, it is what it is. Let's grab Mario? Mario or Maria? Mario. Hey, we were building up prosperity here. I don't like that he's weakening it, so we'll take the fight now. Try to mitigate some of that. Stack white. Good. We will go down to, like, a... 607 stack, just a bare minimum siege of that fort, and start carpet sieging some other stuff over here. We got five artillery on this with our siege leader. I don't think our subjects have any siege pips, right? Uh, no, that guy actually does have a two siege pip leader. Uh, I don't have anyone else that's decent, so let's say attach here. That was Transylvania. I'm gonna wait for him to finish his siege and then tell him to be supportive. See if we can get him to come join the right siege. He should listen. Those artillery are all available now. Send them over. Diplomats? Is Poland in your crosshair? At some point, yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so we're bringing over our full stack. I think we only have seven artillery at the moment. I need to find... more artillery. I need to find them, because they're missing, right? I think that's how it works. Okay, we don't get any benefit from seven over six, so let's pull one off. Just to reduce attrition a little bit. And I really just want to keep the stack together as one big safe army. And as soon as this fort falls, we don't have a lot of actual war score, but Hungary's enthusiasm is going to be the thing that causes this war to be easy. We, we occupy a very small amount of the total amount of, like, development that's in the war, but him being 100% occupied makes him want to quit really badly. And in the meantime, we're going to loot the crap out of him. We could even specifically target provinces that aren't in zone of control, like Sopron and Sazablax. Which is fine. Do you take her foot picks? Do you take her foot picks for having my name on a general? Uh, no. I don't want your foot picks. <laughs> we build a flagship yet? Not quite. We need another 500 sailors in the navy. Nice. Got a disease outbreak. Cool. It's good. Tuscan Crystal. Gain some ducats. And Sienna gets a bonus to stuff. Sure. Gonna say no to that. Bum, bum, bum. What if that was the girl that I was talking to who wanted a foot? I don't... I, I don't have a foot thing, though. So... Do you? Do you have a foot thing? I mean, some people have foot things. Okay, so he's already on medium enthusiasm, as expected, and now we just wait a little bit while he's at full occupation, and he will go down to low, and then we peace out for a very, very small amount of stuff. But it was a super, super easy war, and uh, that was kind of the purpose. Let's avoid looting our subject's cores, and go after other stuff. No. Rumor is spreading that the Ottomans are preparing to attack the Mamluks in a war of aggression. There is not much time to lose if we wish to interfere the loose lips personality of Ahmed. Age 66, the old man was sitting on the privy, and he couldn't help but mention his plans to the rest of the world. So, excellent opportunity to come in behind him and just take nothing but cash from the, Ottoman, from the Mamluks. Or, get a whole bunch of power projection if we wanted to actually take Humiliate. Aragon actually came up here with a 14-3-3 stack. How is supply? It's technically okay as long as we have Maneuver Guy in charge, so we'll just stay here together. Doing this battle would cost us manpower, but give us some prestige, some army tradition. We're really low on army tradition, so I kind of want more. Pretty confident we would win the fight. Bigger army, tech advantage. 4-5 general. But, um, I kind of want to conserve my manpower. Since we're going to fight the Mamluks. And some more score. Yep, we would also get that. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Follow Smoke. Glad you're back, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your donation. That's very nice of you. Just maneuver around, see if we can maybe overrun that cavalry. Easy. Ottomans have declared their war. And it looks like the Castilians have arrived in our capital. They've been here for only 34 days. And they have ruined our prosperity. Dirty. Okay. Well, I don't know if we can wait for Hungary to get to low. He's at negative one reasons for white peace. He needs to be on low to be willing to agree. We're gonna have to go fight the Castilian army. We gotta force them off the capital. Mm. 
Yeah, let's just march up, merge up, and go fight. Maybe just peace out to break the alliance and then come back. We could do that. It'd be a lot easier if we wait till after we've got the uh, next ID group done. We wanted to fight him. Alright. I suppose... Uh... I don't think we want to care about here. Yeah, we're going to take the top option. Do we also want to do stab cost penalty? I don't think we care about tolerance. Full time? I mean, it's definitely a military group. It's really just plutocratic versus offensive. And I'm, I'm heavily leaning towards offensive first for the guaranteed pips. Guaranteed pips and siege ability, force limit, just all the stuff that it gives. But if you guys want, we could do a poll. That's that's allowed. Got a wall breach in our capital. It's non-defensive. We need that fort in Travunia. Alright. Well, I'm going to take a break here if you're watching this on YouTube. I know it's kind of a shorter episode, but um, we have enough military points to like take an idea like right away. So I kind of want to make this decision. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. Stick around if you're on Twitch. I'll see you soon.